Yeah, see what I'm talking about? Got to secure it a little bit better. What's up, everybody? My name is Andrea with the Dog Glamming Duo. If you are new here, and if you are, feel free to hit that subscribe button and join our family. And if you are already part of the Glam Gang, welcome back to another video. Today will be a continuation of my IKEA Builder bookcase that I customized. If you did miss that video, I will link it down below. You might want to check that out first. This was the white standard Billy bookcase with the glass doors, but I wanted something with a little more oomph. So I painted it and wrapped it in contact paper and we have this here. So today will be the fun part of this customization. I wanted a restoration hardware look but I still wanted to add my touch just to make it unique. Like not like I walk into the store when I walk home. Which there's nothing wrong with that. I just want like a little bit of a little touch of Andrea with all my things in this house. We already did the hard part which is building it. Well actually decorating it was kind of difficult too because it's kind of hard to scale what I wanted where but I found I think a good setup that I like for now so everything that I've shared with you guys in home goods well not everything but a few of the pieces that I have shared I will be trying to find a home for them in this bookcase I'm going to let you kind of watch me decorate um, this bookcase and putting things together or figuring out where I, where they work I'm gonna be a little careful because Last week, one of these doors almost fell on my head. I had to secure it again. Um, ghetto, do I go to your house and break things? And then afterwards, I'll kind of like give you a breakdown of what is what, where I got something, if I made something, if you are interested. And I'll put those timestamps down below. We might have to change some things, but that's okay. That just means more shopping trips and more home goods hunting because I haven't done one of those videos in a while. Um, excuse the no curtains thing. I had some gray velvet ones here, but I wanted to see what, what a bright color would look like. So I went with white, was finally able to get my IKEA curtains and they're coming on Saturday. That's off the point, but I just wanted to let you know why it's kind of like over here. So without further ado, let's get into the decorating. I don't wanna wait on this moment, but I'm starting to question love that was made. I'm not looking for just a thing. Oh, my love that is based on the truth, not just dead.
everything was gonna go because I didn't want to bore you guys with trying to figure out where everything else was gonna go so um, this is what I came up with and I'm happy with it for now um, I love the, my paintings on the side I'm so proud of them and I'm just so happy with it I do want to shop a little bit more I kind of want to find some vintage pieces to put in here okay so everybody that's interested in where everything came from or if something was handmade I'm about to hop into that now okay so first kind of hopping into these paintings I did um, do all these myself um, I wanted some texture I actually did a few different styles I did the the kind of scribble style um, I did the what's the other one I did I did like really really abstract I did circles but this style like this kind of shape kind of won me over I wanted some texture so I used some spackling um, I use you know white paint black paint and this is just poster board so if I ever want to change these I can it's not a big a big deal I just love I some my poster board take these out and put them in and this is this side got some texture going on right there on the top this one we got some good shape Good shape going on here and then I actually I kept some beige I put some beige in there too because I don't want it to be too white the picture lights are from Amazon $26 so I have them on either side and I have them on the warm setting because I feel like that looks more realistic the horse here on the top almost didn't fit up there and honestly it's a little bit too big for this space my ceilings aren't really high but i love the look of it <clears throat> excuse me i love the look of it um he's from home goods um and let's take a look inside so these vessels i have here on the top um actually came from tj maxx they're only 10 bucks a piece they weren't this color at first um they're like this terracotta color down here um i wanted to kind of keep some of that color in there just so it'll look a little bit antique a little bit more um handmade even though they are handmade um this is the gold figurine from the studio mcgee collection and then down here i have y'all these books right here came from dollar tree like of course that's the bible but these books these two all came from um the dollar tree so they're three dollars for the books they came with the cheesy like paperback but i just took that off i put this geo crystal here on the top it still has a tag on it because i just keep tags on stuff just in case i want to take it back this is like a marble light sculpture i don't know if it's going to stay right there but i just wanted to kind of play with some shapes um this is another one of those vessels that i got from tj maxx and i just spray painted it white then we got some books down here. Um, Monochrome Home is actually a really, really good interior design book. I got my East St. Laurent and Dream Tree Houses. And then just this Italian marble um, ball here sitting on the top. We have this down here. Um, honestly, I just put this as a placeholder because I didn't have anything else that I fell in love with in the space. So we're gonna have to make another trip to Home Goods. So jump into the middle of the bookcase, another one of the vessels here. I wanted a little bit of a Mm, roughed up look for the vessel so I just spray painted I'm not really trying to be really neat um, and then I just have some books here this Hollywood black book which is a really good book it has like a lot of classic black movies in it and my little book of Chanel and another one of those vessels then I have this David sculpture right here dead center he was actually only $13 at Ross y'all $12.99 $13.99 $12.99 Sorry, David. $13.99, sorry. So he was $14 at um, Ross and he's actually a pretty good size. This is my hand compared to him. <clears throat> so yeah. And then down here we have some more books. Um, the Chanel book and this other book called Outside In, which is a lot of contemporary houses. And then of course I have the Studio McGee Limestone Not There. And then I have this little vessel right here that I found at Home Goods. It's actually wood, but I love the way the texture looked on it. This is from Home Goods as well. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen it. Um, I just love the texture and the color variation in it. It's like stone, but it's like really porous. And that was $12.99 and you can see the tag. And here's a little bit of a better view of 
this um, forest up here, Dairy Restoration Hardware. Um, Esque, it's like actually a dupe. Um, I shared it in one of my hauls and I felt like it hides some of those holes I have up there because I used to have a picture up here. And then on the right side of the bookcase, we have another vessel here up at the top. Love the shape, want it to do a different color. And then I found this tray here at Home Goods. It's actually marble, but it's, it complements the contact paper really well. So it kind of looks like wood. These little marble bowls were so adorable. I could not pass them up. They were only mm, $5.99 at TJ Maxx. So I grabbed two of them and I thought they would look, they would look really good, like stacked, just like that, like really effortless. And then we come down to here. I'm gonna take these price tags off y'all, I'm sorry. Um, I just really like to make sure I want them before I take the tags off, but I've had this book for like months. I just haven't opened it yet because I have so many other ones that I'm into right now. So I have this Robert Steelman interiors book, the um, For the Love of White book, and then I have Obama and Michelle right here. This one is by time. It's, just this book right here and this is her um becoming michelle obama book and then i just paired those with these bookends here um kind of like petrified wood but like glazed over and i thought it complemented the contact paper really well with a little bit of black and here we just have another vessel i went with a taupey color right here i'm pretty sure the color is riverstone by krylon i don't want everything in here to be white so I went with a taupey color right here and um, for this one as well. And then right here, um, we just have some more books. We have California Contemporary. Those are just contemporary homes in Vogue on location. I just took the cover off of there. Okay, and then I have this vessel right here, which was blue, but I changed it to white. I have this little moss um, stem coming out of it, but you can't really tell, so I might take that out. Um, and then down here, just a little placeholder, um, just have another vessel down here. So, and that is it, you guys. Um, I do have lights, um, right here, right here, right here, like on the top, but they're really, really white. So I only like to put them on when I have these picture lights set at that white. But right now I'm really digging the yellow. Um, it looks a little bit more warm to me. So you're done. My curtains come in on Saturday, so it'll make it look really homey. I still haven't found the perfect like window cleaner or glass cleaner because it's still really streaky, which drives me crazy. But I've tried Windex, I've tried um, glass cleaner that I found at um, TJ Maxx, like the, I think it's Wyman or something, and nothing seems to be working. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it right now. It doesn't look too modern or too um, antique-ish. I think it's like a good balance. I do want to switch out some things like these little placeholders um, down here and right here that I told you about. But, you know, that's going to come with time. And that's just, I think it came out really well. So until next time, thank you guys so much for watching this video and spending some time with me today. Sound off in the comments, let me know if you like this video and what else you guys would like to see in the future. And until next time, peace out.